bottle up one of the best plays in the game, Pat's coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So uh, recently I was watching uh, another YouTuber, Shocker360. Uh, I'm actually part of his Facebook group, and uh, he ran a particular play, which is a very common play getting used by a lot of the pros in the tournaments. Uh, constantly getting against an opponent and the guy never made any kind of adjustments to actually stop this play so um, I'm actually decided to go ahead and try to find a defense is a little bit different than that's what's posted out there uh, you know, a lot of times what people will do is you're gonna man up a backside uh, a uh, backside uh, uh, person to actually go ahead and cover this up uh, but this actually gives you an opportunity to go and, sh and stop a pat sale and it's a stock defense that you can select and there's just minor global adjustments that you can make uh, and then play it from there. So uh, the base play, the play we're going to be playing against is going to be pass sales. And uh, basically we're going to have it where the deep post is to the, to the strong side of the field. So meaning that uh, the, the, the computer's got uh, all the time in the world, all the field in, in the world to actually make this completion. Now the defense we're going to be taking a look at is actually going to be a cover six defense, but it's a it's actually cover nine. Uh, cover nine defense is one. Uh, cover nine and cover six are essentially the same type of a concept, just a little bit different of a layout. It, there's it's just the way the uh, uh, the, the purple coverages play. So we're going to use the coverage, which is going to be either big nickel over G, and it's going to be cover nine, and we're going to flip this where the uh, the flat route is actually going to be um, on the um, on the side of where the single wide receiver is, is going to be. So you you got a guy that uses a lot of gun bunch, he starts using a lot of pass sail against you. You can jump into this play and you can flip it depending on what side of the field he's on. So the adjustments are fairly simple. They're all global. We're going to base a line. We're going to press. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do over the top coverage. So it's going to be just hitting the uh, the wire, the triangle button over the top. And if you take a look uh, at the defender that I'm actually on right now, he's in a curl flat. And for some particular reason, the way those two corner, uh, uh, those two uh, quarters play with a curl flat behind it, they play a little bit different types of coverages. So it's very important that you pick a curl flat over the top coverage. Any other any other type of coverage. Uh, is not going to play the same way. Now, uh, another thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and take my uh, left the screen uh, defensive back and actually put him in a hard flat. And the reason why is I want him to come down and play against that drag route. And the final adjustment I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my outside defensive end of the right of the screen. I'm going to put him in a spy. And what this does is it provides me another guy over the middle of the field playing against that drag route. Now, what players basically do is they do the following adjustments with this particular play. They, they max protect, so it essentially takes away any kind of nanos or popular blitzes in the game. They're going to go ahead and take this guy and actually put him off to the left and then go ahead and just quick hike him. Now, what I want to show you is that I've got a defender in the area to go and play that ball. So that makes that, that passing lane a little bit tighter. So let's go into the instant replay and show you how a lot of these routes are actually covered. So most people are looking at this underneath route. As you can see right here, uh, he's actually got a couple guys right there. He's got the spy in the area. And if you complete the ball, he's going to go right into this flat flat zone. And if he does com uh, complete the ball and actually makes a move, I've also got this guy right here that's actually going to pick it up. Now, the most important thing is, is taking out this money route. This is the route that actually a lot of the, uh, the Madden players are looking to actually expose because you can see I'm picking up a good 20 plus yards with the route. But look at the coverages that we have right here. I've got this guy falling back into this coverage. He's taking the deep end. Then he's going to go into the next uh, area of field, which is going to be a three hook zone. He's going to get covered and then he's going to pass it off to this defender right here on the sideline. And it actually, as you can see, I attempted to make a pass right there, but that particular pass was just, it just was a little bit too late. So very simple to go ahead and set this up. So very simple to set this up. We're going to base the line. We're going to press. It's critical that you press going to do over the top coverage 
and then we're going to go ahead and take our left of screen uh, defensive back and put him in a hard flat. If he's not at a hard flat, he's not going to come, come down and actually clean up that little flat round on the back inside. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take uh, the right of screen defensive end and put him on a spy. So this allows us to have a guy that's actually going to go ahead and take away some of those reads over the middle. So you can see right here, I've got the spy. If I go ahead and try to go and uh, chuck it down right there, I've got an opportunity to go ahead and catch a, a ball over the middle. Basal line, press over the top coverage. We're going to left the screen, we're going to put him in a hard flat, and then we're going to go ahead and spy up our right of screen defensive end. Now, the guy I want to use is Kendricks, and the reason why is that um, I've got such good coverage that if I use her Kendricks, if I use her Kendricks, I can take away a lot of my opponent's reads. So the first thing is if he tries to complete the ball fast to this, this little uh, fly route, I can go ahead and be in the area to take that away and then pass it off to the spy. I can also go ahead and take away a quick read with, uh, with the fly route, and then I'm going to sit here right in this zone right here, uh, for the for the next route so one player I can basically take away three routes and pass them off to other coverages so guys I, I recommend if you go if you run into someone that actually plays uses this play I would recommend going ahead and, and, and jumping into it uh, you have uh, three minor adjustments to go ahead and, and set this up it, this is it, this is going to be out of that big nickel G you're going to flip it to whatever side he, uh, he's going to be uh, using the the, the, uh, the post route at and then you're just going to do over the top coverage and hard flats on the back end side and that gives you a high low type of coverage situation so if you guys like these type of tips Make sure you hit that smash that like button. And once again, to my subscribers and my patrons, thank you for your support. And until next time.